Hey guys, I'm Kayla Waller with Waller Avengers and today we are with our summer garden. We are going to be looking at our butter beans. So come along and check it out. Okay, so here is our butter bean plants. Um, the story behind them is my uncle in North Carolina has a garden and he had a whole bunch of butter bean plants and asked if any of us want them. And I said, sure, I can try and grow them in Florida because it is hot down here and they grow in the summer. So I inherited 32 of them. He didn't know if they were going to be vines or bushes. So I just put them in pots because our soil here is not that great. It is sandy. I had to make my mixture of soil so all my stuff can grow. So once they started growing, I found out that they were actually vines. So I had to stick them outside so they can climb up on the chicken wire. So I'm getting really, really good butter beans right now. They're growing like a weed. I have them everywhere. Growing up, my grandmother had um, butter beans, peas, any kind of bean in the world growing in her garden. I'm familiar with them, but I'm not familiar with growing them. I'm just familiar with shelling them because we would always sit and watch the stories and shell them during the summer. So I did some experiments. So I have five of them in the pots. And in here, I have two of them in the very back. On this side, I have more butter bean plants, but um, I dug trenches into the ground and put my soil mixture in there, which is cow manure and organic miracle grow. And I am surprised at how big they have gotten. But as you can tell, I, I also have butter beans on these plants. I have sticks in the ground for them to grow up on. So there should be two on that back one, that dark brown pole. And then there should be two on this lighter wooden pole. But since these are going are growing so great in the ground with my mixture, I am going to do the same thing next year and try and grow sweet corn. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we just had a thunderstorm go through. Now we're out here checking on the butter bean plants to make sure they're still on the vine. And while checking them, we discovered that there are some that need to be picked. So let's get to picking. Now that we're done picking our butter beans, it is time to shell them. Once you shell your butter beans, you're going to want to blanch them. And how you blanch them is you put them all in a pot and you put it on the stove at medium. And you leave them on there and take them off right when the water is about to boil. Then you want to put them in your sink in some cold ice water to cool them down. And once they're cooled down, you can lay them out and let them dry. Once they dry, you can put them in a Ziploc bag or, or any kind of Tupperware and stick them in the freezer. Your butter beans will be good for three to five years, so you can pull them out and eat them whenever you want to. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video on our butter beans. Hope to see y'all soon. Did you like that gardening video? Then check us out on our YouTube channel at Waller Adventures. Like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified on when we post more videos. Also check us out on our Facebook page and on our Instagram page. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you real soon.